Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, made in the USA. Consumerreports.org put together a piece for AOL.com describing the marketing gimmicks and loopholes which allow some companies to claim that their product is made in the United States when it really originated overseas. The most common case is when a company assembles certain parts in the U.S. from imported materials, such as the case with New Balance athletic shoes. New Balance cl proudly claims that it has maintained manufacturing in the United States, despite its competition, like Nike, Adidas, and Reebok, all moving overseas. What they kindly ignore is the fact that the components of their shoes are largely imported from overseas before they're put together by American workers. Many American computers and vehicles are designed in the United States, but their components are actually assembled overseas. In the case of Ford and General Motors, the auto giants maintain huge production operations in Canada and Mexico before shipping vehicles back into the United States for sale. Some things which you would think are purely produced in the United States give the impression in their name. Pennsylvania Dutchman claims to be America's favorite mushroom, yet the fungi themselves are grown, harvested, and processed in China. The company American Lock fabricates its products in Mexico. And, according to Laura Fleming of the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute, Chicken of the Sea sends its wild-caught salmon to Thailand for processing before shipping it back to the U.S. The Consumer Reports piece even showed an American flag which was assembled from overseas materials. Perhaps the most alarming and potentially hazardous development, which has come from free trade, is the influx of contaminated foods into American grocers and households. One of the reasons that this threat is so omnipresent is the fact that only some foodstuffs are required to display their country of origin. According to the 2002 Federal Farm Bill, all produce and meat sold in the United States must display its country of origin. Unfortunately, after nearly seven years, the bill still only applies to packaged goods. Meats and produce sold in open bins or displays are not required to provide the same information. Trying to label something as made in the United States is perhaps the best marketing ploy in the world. American consumers represent the world's largest market for goods, and their patriotism, especially in the recent Buy American upsurge, will drive them toward goods which keep their money close to home. Unfortunately, many of the best and most popular products are still partially or completely imported. They therefore contribute to the imbalance of international trade, just like any other goods. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Carrington. For more on this and other related topics, please tune in daily to economyincrisis.org. Wake up, America. Open up your eyes. Wake up, America. Wake up.